The Elisa Lam story is one of the most mysterious and disturbing cases in recent history. It involves the disappearance and death of a young Canadian woman who was staying at the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles in 2013. Her body was found in a water tank on the roof of the hotel, 19 days after she was last seen alive. The circumstances surrounding her death are still unclear and have sparked many theories and speculations. Elisa Lam was a 21-year-old student from Vancouver who had traveled to California for a solo vacation in January 2013. She had planned to visit several cities, including San Diego, Los Angeles, and Santa Cruz. She arrived in Los Angeles on January 26th and checked into the Cecil Hotel, a budget hotel in downtown L.A. that had a notorious reputation for being a hotspot for crime, drugs, and violence. On January 31st, Elisa was supposed to check out of the hotel and continue her trip to Santa Cruz, but she never did, and she also failed to call her parents, which is something she did every day during her trip. Her parents reported her missing to the LAPD, who began a search for her. On February 6th, the LAPD released a video of Elisa taken from an elevator surveillance camera on the night of January 31st, the last time she was seen alive. The video showed Elisa behaving strangely in the elevator, pressing multiple buttons, peeking out of the doors, hiding in the corner, and gesturing with her hands as if talking to someone or something outside the elevator. The video went viral online and attracted worldwide attention. On February 19th, Elisa's body was discovered by a hotel maintenance worker in one of four water tanks on the roof of the hotel. The worker was investigating complaints from guests about low water pressure and a foul taste and smell from the tap water. The water tanks were secured by heavy lids that required a ladder to access. The police had to cut open one of the tanks to retrieve Elisa's body. The autopsy revealed that Elisa had died of accidental drowning with no signs of trauma or foul play. However, it also noted that her blood contained traces of prescription drugs that she had been taking for bipolar disorder as well as over-the-counter medication for a sinus infection. The toxicology report also showed that she had no alcohol or illegal drugs in her system. The police concluded that Elisa had somehow accessed the roof of the hotel, either through a fire escape or a locked door that had been left open, and entered one of the water tanks by herself. They ruled out any involvement of other people or criminal activity in her death. The Theories and Speculations Many people were not satisfied with the official explanation and raised questions and doubts about the case. Some of the main issues that were pointed out were How did Elisa manage to lift the heavy lid of the water tank and close it behind her? Why did she choose to enter the water tank in the first place? What was she doing in the elevator and who or what was she reacting to? And why did none of the other surveillance cameras capture any footage of her movements or actions? These questions led to various theories and speculations about what really happened to Elisa. Some of them were, she was murdered by someone who had access to the hotel and the roof, such as an employee, a guest, or a serial killer. She was under the influence of drugs or alcohol that altered her perception and behavior, or she was experiencing a psychotic episode due to her bipolar disorder or a drug interaction. Another theory was she was playing a game called the Elevator Game, which is supposed to transport players to another dimension if they follow certain steps in an elevator. Or she was possessed by a demonic entity or influenced by paranormal forces. After reviewing all the facts and evidence, as well as some of the theories and speculations, we have formed our own opinion on what might have happened to Elisa Lam. We believe that she was suffering from a mental health crisis that caused her to act erratically and irrationally. She may have been trying to escape from something or someone that she perceived as a threat, either real or imagined, and that she somehow accessed the roof of the hotel and entered one of the water tanks, either intentionally or accidentally, which led to her death. If that is the case, 
then her death was a tragic accident that could have been prevented if she had received proper medical attention and support. There is little evidence to support the theory that she was murdered, drugged, or involved in any conspiracy or paranormal activity. These theories are based on speculation, coincidence, or misinformation, and are disrespectful to her memory and her family, who deserve closure and peace. We hope that this video provided some insight and clarity into the Eliza Lamb story. We also hope that it has raised awareness and compassion for people who struggle with mental health issues. We should remember Elisa Lam as a young woman who had a bright future and a passion for life and not as a victim of a mystery or a legend. If you or anyone you know is affected by mental health issues, please remember that there is always hope and help available. Please check the video description for more information. If you found value in our video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Until next time, stay curious.